this video you will learn about the anger of elevation and depression okay before I start to I start to put in those past year question I just do a brief introduction about this chapter actually this chapter is very easy but then you need to like very familiar with the tangent rule means you have to know how to do tangent and how to find anger and then you also need to very familiar with the anger and then you also need to know what is the meaning for anger of elevation and the anger of depression okay first we go for depression first because i think some students were very confused about depression okay depression means that on on top he looked down let's see okay let's see when I stand here, okay, when I'm from here, I want to look down. Okay, let's say this is point A to point B. I want to look down that one we call depression. So I just draw, draw a line to look down. Okay, let's say A to B. Okay. This is something I look down, but then very important is where is the angle of look down so this is the keyword here okay look carefully here when you say about look down means an anger of depression depression is look down look down is anger of depression you must start as the horizontal line which is this line is parallel to the ground okay this one we call horizontal line then only you look down from the horizontal line you look down so this is the anger okay because most of the students do wrong because they think that angles of elevation is here they think they will think that the anger of depression sorry the anger of depression is here that's wrong because the anger of depression must start from a horizontal line then you look down must have this horizontal line okay i repeat one more time anger of depression must have the horizontal line and then only can look down you cannot you cannot think that the anger is here because here you got no horizontal line you only got one vertical line okay you must have a horizontal line you look down that this one we call anger of depression okay same things to angers of elevation elevation is look up look up same thing you must have a horizontal line and then you look up from the horizontal line look up means from b look to a this one we call it anchor elevation look up so you imagine here here is the eyes so eyes look up must from the horizontal line okay even if you here you got a you got a pole or something you got a wall or something you cannot think that angle elevation is here because this is vertical line you cannot find the horizontal line you cannot do elevation or depression remember must start from a horizontal line and then look up this one we call elevation horizontal line look down this one we call it depression the horizontal line is the keywords in this chapter remember if you cannot find horizontal line you cannot do elevation and depression okay if you remember this one then we go to few simple example let's see okay he said the anger depression of vertex q vertex means something is the highest in in here so this coordinate we call it vertex okay vertex q anger depression of the vertex q from p to me he from p he looked to q is 42 so what i need to do now is okay i draw a line connect p to q because it's from p depression being look, look down to q q from p q from p okay and then it's 42 so if you straight away write 42 is here then you are wrong because you can't you didn't find any horizontal line so i must add a horizontal line by myself and then make sure this horizontal line is parallel to the ground okay so 
here is 42 okay if you write 42 is here you are definitely wrong okay so now this is 42 and then he asked you to calculate calculate the angle elevation of Q Q from S so now what he want you to find he want you to find angle elevation from uh, Q from S horizontal line look up look up this one means from S look up to the Q here will be the angle elevation so in order to find this one the angle this one you must have one very important information is the height of the QR so height of the QR I think I think actually is the first information can help you okay so what I need to do is I draw a triangle here okay I draw a, another horizontal line here and then because this horizontal line is same with this horizontal line so I draw a parallel line here so do you see the zigzag effect you if you see the zigzag effect you will know actually here is 42 here is another 42 so okay I draw here let's see this is P this is Q and then this is something like horizontal line this is 42 so the since this two is parallel so i use the z effect here can 42 or so okay and then the length for here means from the p to q is 10 meter so this one is a 10 meter so do you see a triangle here p okay let's say i give this coordinate here, i give a coordinate here is o okay p o q P O Q. If you see this triangle with the 42 degree, you know that you want to find this height. Height here. I, I give you H. Okay. Because I want to find the height here. Later, I can use 25 minus the H. I can get the height from O to S. Okay. So in order to get this one, I got opposite and I got adjacent. I got opposite and adjacent. I know I want to use tangent. Then tangent 42 will equal to opposite over adjacent h over 10 so therefore the length of h will become for tangent 42 multiple 10 then this one you just press the calculator tangent 42 multiple 10 just wait for a while okay tangent 42 so i just press tangent 42 multiple 10 i will got nice i will got nice meter okay when i got nine meter means what means from p to o here will be nine meter okay if i got this nine meter it's very useful because since this is horizontal line so that mean here will be 25 minus 9 25 minus 9 we will got 16 that means the length here will be 16 and length here will be 16 also so this one will be 16 meter okay so then do you see another triangle here so I just draw out this triangle here is 10 meter this one will be 16 meter and then this one will be angle elevation Q from S and then here we are so now you want to find this angle called angle elevation so therefore we know that you got opposite you got adjacent it's tangent also therefore tangent angle will become opposite divide adjacent 16 divided by 10 so therefore in order to get angle I just press calculator shift tangent bracket 16 divided by 10 or you can press shift tangent 1.6 so you press shift tangent 1.6 you will got 57.99 or we call it 58 angle so this is the way to find the angle and then you have to understand what is the meaning by elevation elevation is look up depression is look down 
both must have the horizontal line if do not have the horizontal line you can add the horizontal line by yourself and then since this all is the parallel so what you need to know that if this is parallel you can use the z effect mean this angle after the z he will same with this angle if you're not familiar with the z angle maybe i just draw few here to give you some reference is this one is this one parallel okay the angle inside angle inside will same with the angle inside here this is what we call that effect in parallel and this is what you will learn in form 2 okay let's have a look on one more question okay yes well, let's have a look on this question okay if you have a look on this question he says the angles of depression of r from q r from q main q look down so first thing i connect q to r first i connect q to r okay and then if you straight away right 45 is here then you are wrong because i say you must start from the horizontal line okay and then you look down 45 degree okay here got no horizontal line only got vertical line okay so you got 45 there so since this one is parallel to the ground so i know i can use the z effect and then here will be 45 okay because the z okay so if you got this one it's pretty easy for you to do no second thing find the angle elevation of q from s mean q from s q from s means from s he look down look up look up to the q so what he want to find is q from s so i just use another color to draw this one he want to find this one okay this angle look up angle elevation q from s so actually if here you can see two triangle then you can easily solve the first triangle is here and then the second triangle is the bigger one okay p s q and p r q okay first thing of course we want to use this triangle we must have this length p r we do not have pr so we the objective for us we have to find this one so you know make this equation seems make this question seem easy so i just scratch out okay this is p q r and then another bigger triangle which is we call it q p and s okay so we find the pr first because the r will be here and then here is five okay this is what we got and then we know this is 90 degree so and then we know this is 45 so this is 12. okay first in order to find pr i got adjacent i, I got opposite i need adjacent so i need i have to use tangent therefore tangent 45 i give this one let's say i give the bottom here i give it uh, an alphabet k okay you can give any alphabet you feel comfortable okay will be 12 di opposite divided by adjacent k so k will equal to 12 divided by tangent 45 so therefore tangent 45 you will got 1 okay so 12 divided by 1 you will got k equal to 12 meter okay means actually the length for here will be 12 okay if the length for here will be 12 then you will know the total length for here to here is 17 because it's 12 plus 5 you got 17 okay now he want to find angle elevation mean from s he look up to q what is this angle so we got this one is 17 you got this one is 12 so actually this triangle is very easy okay if you cannot see i draw a small one for you to have a look this one if 12 this one is 17 you want to find this angle so you just use tangent angle because you have opposite and adjacent will equal to 12 over 17 so in order to get angle you just press shift tangent bracket 12 over 17 
then you can get the anger so I press shift tangent put the bracket 12 divided by 17 so I will got okay 35 anger 14 minutes that's all this is the way to find the anger elevation okay Ele elevation just mean from bottom look up depression just mean from the top horizontal line look down okay and then if you know this is z this is that effect it's very, very helpful and then you m most of the time you have you can use tangent to solve it because most of the time you only will have opposite and adjacent so you choose tangent to do it so far i do so many questions i seldom to see got chance to use sine or cos to do it but then if there's a chance you can still use sine or cos it's, it's okay but then most of the time you use tangent okay with tangent you just make sure you're familiar with like tangent is equal to opposite divided by adjacent and then when you change or solve the equation you make sure you don't do it wrongly then this chapter will be very easy for you okay thanks for the video